Hello, everybody. Welcome to the live stream. This live stream is going to be about tuning up your computer and making it run faster. Welcome. My name is Michael Cassio, and I talk about how to maintain your computer and how to repair your computer. And I have uh, over 20 years experience as a computer technician, worked on hundreds of computers. And we're going to get into how to tune it up your computer and make it run better and run smoother. Whether it be Windows 7, Windows 8, Windows 10, doesn't matter. If you're on a computer and you want it to run faster, I'm going to give you some tips to tell you how to do that. But let's start. If you're on Windows 7 computer, you want to free up your memory. All computers have memory. It's called RAM memory. And what RAM memory is, is it determines how much workspace you're going to have on your desktop and on your screen. The more memory you have, the more workspace you have. You can do two or three different things um, with ease if you have a lot of memory. But what happens is, um, these programs that you have on your computer, sometimes they will be running in the background and using up your memory. And even if you're not using the program, it'll still be using your memory because you might have been using that program a week or a couple of days ago. And what it happens is Windows um, puts a check mark on that program that you used and it will start um, on your start menu in the background while you're on the computer. So we want to go in there and we want to take these startup programs off the startup menu to free up that memory so you have more workspace and your computer is going to run faster. Now this works for any version, but we're going to start with Windows 7. So if you're on a Windows 7 computer, the first thing you want to do is you want to right click the Windows icon in the bottom left hand corner. And then you want to click on, left click on run, and type in the run box, msconfig, that's M-S-C-O-N-F-I-G, then hit OK. That'll take you to the Windows Configuration Utility Setup window. And then when you get there, you're going to see a boxes with a lot of check marks in them. Now, those check marks are things that are starting when you start your computer. So, what we want to do is we want to uncheck all those boxes. Okay? So, uncheck all the boxes. Hit Apply, then hit OK. Danny DeVito, is that you? Yeah, this is Danny DeVito. Hey, Paisano, what's going on? So once you check all those boxes and hit OK, um, restart the computer, and that will um, free up your memory, and, and you'll see a difference right there. So... Do we have people here that we need to remove or report? Let me know. So that's Windows 7. Okay, well, if you do, if you, if you do, let me know because I will be ready to report you. I'm eating chips with salsa. It tastes really good. So get, getting back to where I was, um, you could do the same thing for Windows 8. Now, Windows 10 is a little bit different. When you free up your memory on Windows 10, you'll have to do something else. And I'll explain to you in a minute.
Okay, so you're on Windows 10 and you want to free up your memory. What you do is you right click an empty space on your toolbar. Your toolbar is on the bottom, all the way on the bottom of the screen. That long thing going across, that's your toolbar. Right click an empty area and then click where it says Task Manager. Once you click that, Task Manager, then you'll see a, um, a whole nother screen up on top. You'll see programs that are running and you'll see different tabs. One will be processes and there'll be a couple different tabs. What you want to do is you want to check out the programs that are running and you want to stop them from running. It doesn't uninstall them and it doesn't take them off the computer, but it will stop them from running if you just click it and, and task off it or click it and remove it. Now, you're not going to be deleting the program or uninstalling it. It just won't start up anymore until you run the program again. So once you do that, um, you're going to be freeing up a lot of memory on your computer and it's going to run better. So that's a good tip to do. I'm on my iPhone and not seeing the taskbar. I'm talking about a computer, a laptop, or a desktop. I don't know much about phones, so I'm sorry I can't help you with a cell phone. You can call up your provider and they could probably help you with that. But thanks for asking. I think you can restore your phone and that makes it run faster. But you want to back up your information first. You don't want to lose your information if you restore it. Restoring a phone makes it like when you first got it. But you got to save all your stuff first. So the next thing we're going to do to make your computer run faster and to tune it up. I hope you don't mind me eating. I'm trying to. This is really the only time I get to eat a snack. So what you want to do in this next step is. And you could have a Windows 7, Windows 8, or a Windows 10 computer, and it'll work for either one. What you want to do is, you want to right-click the Start button on the bottom left, and click Run, and then you'll see the Run box. You're multitask. Yep, that's what I'm doing. I'm going from one thing to another, and I'm teaching how to do maintenance on your computer to make it run faster. How we are doing. Hello, Adventure Success. We're doing good here. How are you doing? I'm glad you knew. I'm glad you uh, stopped by. Welcome. If you want to, if you're a new uh, computer user or you're a beginner, these tips could help you. So uh, stay tuned, and I'm talking about how to clean your computer and maintain your computer. So uh, what I was talking about is this next tip you can do. Now what we're going to do is we're going to clean out. We're going to clean out a lot of temporary files. See, when you're on the Internet, when you're going from different websites and surfing the internet, you may not know it, but you're getting a lot of files. They're called temporary files on your computer as you're using it on the internet. Okay. You don't see these files, um, but they're temporary files. And the websites that you go on put these files on your computer to make it easier for you to come back um, they actually even monitor what you're buying and the sites that you're purchasing things. It's all a record, okay? But if you don't clean these things off um, periodically, they will slow down your computer. So if your computer ran faster like six months ago and it's starting to get slow, this is something that you really have to do. 
So we're going to, I'm going to explain to you how to do it. You can do it step by step. What you're going to do is you're going to do what's called cleaning the cache. Yep, a laptop and a desktop, these apply to both of them. As long as you're running a Windows operating system, all these tips apply to a desktop or a laptop computer, either one. Um, so what you want to do is you want to, on your, let's say Windows 10, okay? Most people are on Windows 10. So I'm primarily going to talk about Windows 10. But you can do these for Windows 7 and Windows 8. There's just one thing you won't be able to do on Windows uh, 7 or 8, but don't worry about it. Now, what you want to do is you want to right-click the Start button, the Windows Start button in the lower left-hand corner. Left-click where it says Run. You're going to go back to the Run box. Take whatever's in there out of the Run box. And you want to type in temp, small letters. You don't do any caps in the, in the run box. Everything's small letters. You type in temp, T-E-M-P. Then you hit OK. You might get a little dialogue message asking you to continue. If you do, click continue. If you don't, it'll take you right to, uh, right to the uh, temp files and you'll see folders with different files and stuff on the right hand side of your screen. So what you want to do is you want to hold the control and the A key on your keyboard. Control and A. You put your fingers on both of them at the same time with your left hand and make sure you highlight um, one of the files on the right hand side and then you hit delete. And you might have to hit Control A and delete a few, you know, just keep on holding it and highlighting the files on the right and just keep deleting them until they're all gone. Now, they might not, every single one might not go away, but if you're leaving four or five behind, that that's totally fine. As long as you're getting most of them out, that's what we're going for. Then when you're done with that, you close out that window. On the right hand side, you just go to the X and you're going to close that screen out. Now we're going to go back to the box, back to the Windows icon in the bottom left, right click it, left click run again. Now backspace what's in there, it says temp, backspace on that, erase it. And now we're going to type in percentage sign, temp, and percentage sign. No spaces, just all one. So you're going to put the percentage, which is all the way at the top of your keyboard, temp, percentage. Now you're going to hit OK again. And you're going to go to another whole, uh, area. You have more temp files there. See, Windows puts a lot of files that you can erase and you don't need. And uh, then we're going to go to this area. And you're going to look on the right-hand side. And you're going to see another set of files. You're going to hold the Control A. On your keyboard, navigate to uh, your mouse to uh, to one of the files, and then you hit delete, and you delete them until they're almost all gone. So you're getting most of them out of there. That's great. Now close out that window, and we're going to go back, and we're going to do the same exact thing again. You're going to the Windows icon, right-click it, left-click where it says um, Run, Erase um, the run box, and you're going to type in something else. And what you're going to type in is prefetch, and that's spelled P R E F E T C H, lower letters. Type in prefetch. After you type in prefetch, you hit OK and go back to your files, okay? If it says uh, continue, hit continue, or just go right, it, it'll take you right to the prefetch folder. And then you're going to see another bunch of files on the right-hand side, and you're going to do the same exact thing, Control-A and delete. You're going to get rid of most of those, and then you're going to close it out. 
once you close it out, um, you're done with that. You got rid of the temps and stuff. So you cleaned out a lot of uh, temporary files, which is good. And that's going to free up uh, free up your computer to run better. So the next thing that we're going to do is to do some cleaning. And I talked about this in another live stream. What we're going to do is we're going to clean the hard drive up and we're going to make the hard drive healthier and, and it's going to work better in your computer. And this is how we're going to do it. See, the hard drive is where all your information is. It's a, just like it looks like a box inside your computer and that's where all the information is. Windows, all your files, everything that you do on the internet, it's all on your hard drive. So what we're going to do is the first thing we're going to do is we're going to check programs that you don't need and don't want, and we're going to remove those programs. So in order to do that, what you got to do is you got to go down on the bottom to the search bar and to the search box, and you're going to type in control panel. So type in control panel, and then after that, it'll take you going to the control panel, and you're going to see... Um, an icon that says uninstall programs or it's going to say um it's going to say uh windows features or something like that and you're going to double click it once you double click it you're going to um see a box with all these different programs in it now all those programs are programs that are on your computer so everything that's on that screen is on your hard drive so you're going to start from the top and you're going to go down the list one at a time and you're going to check every single one and see if you want that on your computer now if you have toolbars or programs that you don't want games that you don't want on there um anything that you recognize um some kind of weird spyware that's on there that you're not sure what it is you can about that i had a little mishap a laptop okay so what you're going to do is you're going to look through those programs for programs that you don't want don't use um if you're not sure what something is leave it but if you see toolbars in there and all kinds of weird stuff and things that you don't want make sure you highlight them and go to the top and hit uninstall is that a drawing of a covered bridge? I used to live right near one in Vermont many years ago. Yes, sir, it is. It's a drawing that I had purchased in Lancaster, Pennsylvania, where the Amish people live. And there's several covered bridges there. I used to live in Pennsylvania um, near where the Amish people are. And it's a beautiful area, and they have some really nice covered bridges, and that's a picture of one. So uh, it's a little sketch of one, and it's real nice. So I appreciate that. Very nice. I'm in Philly now. Yeah, I used to uh, live in Lancaster, which is about an hour or so from Philly. So that's kind of cool. I'm originally from New York, and then I moved to Pennsylvania, and now I live in Florida. So after you get rid of all the programs you don't want um, by highlighting them and going to uninstall on the top and clicking uninstall, make sure you do them one at a time. Then you can close that box out, close that whole window out. And you got rid of um, several programs, I hope, that you don't need. And that will help clean up your hard drive some. Now what we're going to do. Hi, right, James Clark. How's it going? Welcome to the live stream. We're talking about uh, speeding up our computer and maintaining and doing maintenance to it. If you have any questions, comments, or whatever, you know, you can say it. I'm doing pretty good here. Thank you. 
So let me get to this step here. The next thing we want to do is we want to clean your hard drive even more by checking your hard drive for errors. Okay. And we want to we want to remove system files, okay, temporary files that, that are safe to move, remove that you don't need. And we're going to check the hard drive for errors, and we're going to get rid of it. Um, get rid of a lot of things that you don't need. I'm computer litter and just got a laptop. Oh, good. If you just bought a laptop, then a lot of these tips will help you. You know, just watch and, uh, you know, you'll learn um, some stuff. So what you want to do is you want to go into um, right-click on the... Uh, how are we going to do this? Okay, right click on your uh, Windows 10 icon, you know, your Windows icon in the lower left, right click it, and this time you're going to left click where it says File Explorer. Click on File Explorer, and then after you click on File Explorer, click on this PC, and then the next screen is going to show you, um, you'll see C Drive, okay, and then you're going to right click on C Drive. And then it's going to bring a menu down, and then you're going to left-click Properties all the way on the bottom of that drop-down menu. Once you hit Properties, you'll see another screen coming up, and it will say Disk Scan. So you want to go to, you're going to be at the Disk Scan screen, and that's where we're going to be doing the next area of cleaning. Okay, so what you can do is... Click on where it says Disk Scan. And you can also click where it says Clean System Files. After you clean the system files, click on Disk Scan, and it will pop, it'll go through, like, scan your computer and see what, it can be, what can be removed and what can't be. Now, when it does the scan, It'll ask you, do you want to remove these things? And then you just click yes. Okay. You have to let it scan first. After it, after you do that, it'll you click remove. Wait till that's done. And then go right below that. It'll say optimize and defrag your hard drive. Now, if you have an SSD hard drive, you don't do this. You only do this if you have a SATA hard drive, okay? So if you have a SATA hard drive, you're going to click defrag, and you're going to highlight, make sure it's highlighted on the C drive, double-click the C drive, and just let it defrag, okay? Then you just wait until that's done. It'll go from 1 to 100, and you can see on the screen, wait till that's done. When that's done, then you can close the window out. And then that's done, you know, that whole part is done. You just, uh, you know, scan disk and you did uh, defrag. And that also helps clean your hard drive. So you freed up memory and you did you clean your hard drive. You removed some programs. And... These are the things that make your computer faster and make your computer run better. So it's basically you're tuning up your computer. Now, you make sure you have an antivirus. If you have an antivirus and it's not out of date, then you update it and run a scam. Mm -hmm. You are doing animation. You want to upload that. And well, then you should be able to upload it and do some animation. You know, that has nothing to do with... I mean... If you clean your computer and you tune it up, that program will work better. If you don't do maintenance, I would suggest you do the maintenance and then do that. 
because it will work better. Everything will work better once you do maintenance. So, if you have an antivirus, make sure it's working and update it and get the latest files. If it's a free version or a paid version, it doesn't matter as long as it works. If you don't have an antivirus, go to um, download.com and type in a VAST, A-V-A-S-T, free version for Windows 10. And do a Google search for it, free version for Windows 10, a VAST. Download that, install it, and run a scan. You want to do that. You have to have an antivirus on your computer. I mean, I really honestly don't know a whole lot about animation. I don't get into that. Um, I'm basically, what I do is I teach people how to maintain their computer and repair their computer. Um, when it comes to programs like that, you have to find somebody that's doing animation or, you know, web design, and they could probably help you better as far as that goes. Uh, look on YouTube or do a search, uh, put your question in uh, Google, and you'll probably get a whole bunch of things popping up and helping you with that. But um, I don't cover any of that kind of stuff. So what I'm what we're gonna do? Just trying to remember what I was talking about. Okay, yeah, antivirus. Okay, so you got your antivirus and you got your antivirus up to date. That's great. Now, there's still things on your computer. Great, James. I appreciate that. Yeah, everybody hit the like button. Share it with your friends or. Subscribe if you're not subscribed yet, and that way you won't miss anything. Okay, so there's one other program I want you to get, and that will really help your computer a lot. It's a free program. Great. Thanks a lot there, uh, Stop Motion. I appreciate that. This is a free program, and I want you to get it. Reviews at search for video. Google that and yeah, exactly, Premier. You know, Google it, check your reviews and see what you know what reviews are, you know, pretty good. You know, you check the reviews and you see what people like about programs and you know and, and go along with that. That's a great tip. It's a great tip for when you're buying a computer also, or if you're buying a video card, if you're buying you know, anything, you should check the reviews. I always check the reviews when I'm looking to buy something. So, now you have an antivirus, which is very good. But you want to get another program because, see, antivirus is good basic protection. It will protect you from small viruses, small threats. But there's a lot of other things that can get on your computer. And that is in a different category than a regular virus. You know, it's called spyware, malware, key loggers. There's different names for all this stuff that also gets on your computer. So you're going to need a program get rid of all that stuff. Your antivirus is not going to get rid of this other stuff. It only get rid of viruses. So what you want to do is you want to get a program which is free and it is called Malwarebytes free version for Windows 10 and you'll look for that. Um, it doesn't necessarily have to say Windows 10, but it's malware bytes free version. You don't want the trial unless you want to buy it. If you want the free version, get the free version. If you want the paid version, that's up to you. But the spelling is M A L W A R E B Y T E S. That's what you want to search for. 
That's the program you want to get. You can check download.com. That's a good site and it's safe to download things. Um, they have a lot of free software that you can go in there and check out. Um, so whatever, wherever you get it, um, I, I recommend going to download.com first because it's a lot safer. But you want to get down um, the Malware Bytes program, okay? So when you get it, you're going to download it and you're going to install it and then you're going to run it. And then it's going to take a little time to update and it's going to check your whole computer for spyware, adware, key loggers, and all this kind of junk that can get on your computer. And believe me, everybody has that kind of stuff on their computer. So get that and completely do a scan and it will tell you on the program how many things it's found as it's scanning. So after the scan is done, it will prompt you to remove everything that's, that it found. And on the bottom, it will say, click here to remove. And then you, once it's all done, you click that, give it a little time because it's, you know, it's going to take some time for it to remove the stuff. And after it does that, um, you know, it'll get rid of a lot of, a lot of bad stuff that's on your computer. So do that. And you're going to find out that that program is not only going to remove bad stuff, it's going to make your computer run better. And I just want to tell you a little thing about programs and utilities. You know, there's a lot of paid programs that you can buy for your computer. And I'm not knocking paid programs. The only difference really with a paid program is you get a little bit more features, okay, which is good. But you get real time. In other words, if you have an issue, you can call somebody and they'll help you out because you paid for the program. Now, free programs, they work good. They don't give you tech support, but they do work good. The ones that I recommend, I can't speak for every free program, but, you know, for over 20 years, I've been using these programs and I put them on people's computers and I know they work good. So that's the choice you have to make. If you want to buy the paid version, that's fine. If you want to use the free version, that's fine too. I like the Windows 10 Firewall Bit Defender and not using it. It prevents a lot of stuff. Um, Bit Defender. Yeah, I mean, if you like to use that, that's fine. Some people won't use that and they'll just use an antivirus. Um, a lot of questions are, can I use both? You can use both. Um, but personally, having a good um, antivirus and a good spyware remover and a good registry cleaner, you really don't need to run that. But You know, there's nothing wrong with it if you want to use that. But personally, in my experience, um, those other programs are really good. So I rely on those. But there's another thing you need to do after that, and you need to go update your Windows. You know, to type, go down to search, type in Windows Updates, and make sure you get all the updates for your computer. If you have them, when you click on it, it'll say your computer is fully updated. But if it's not updated, make sure you update. Your, do all the updates that, that are there. Another name for that is patches. What Microsoft does is it sends you package uh, packets, and they're. Um, they're files that you're updating, and they're going to protect you from viruses, problems with Windows, 
and things like that. It's going to help you with different programs that you have. So make sure you do the when all the Windows updates because it's very helpful. I don't not clean my registry. I just restore after it gets. Well, there's no reason to re do a complete restore every time your computer gets cluttered. You can you can do a restore like once a year, um, you know, to put Windows version back on. Um, but uh, you don't have to restore. We are checking in first time. Personally, you know, um, I would recommend just uh, getting a program called Reg Clean. Okay, well, once a year, there's nothing wrong with that. You know, hello, Carol O'Connor. I spoke to you earlier. How's it going, bro? There was a glitch, and the kid discovered Apple was. Okay. Well, Apple is something different. You know, I don't talk about Apple much. I do have I do have a video about Macs, if you want to learn a little bit about Macs. I don't really get into Macs too much. Yeah. I mean, you can um, get viruses on Apple just like you can on PCs. Okay, Carol. How you doing? I'm doing pretty good. So basically, if you get a program called Reg Clean, I mean C Cleaner, okay? You get a program called C Cleaner. It's spelled C as third letter in the alphabet, Cleaner. You can download that. It's a free program. It's called C Cleaner. One word. You click on Run. It will delete some temporary stuff off your computer that it finds. And then on the left side of the program, it says Registry Cleaner. You click on that, and you run it. It will check your registry for uh, different things. And after it checks your registry, it'll give you an option to remove everything. And it will also ask you if you want to back it up. I usually don't back up the registry personally. You can if you want, but I... I prefer tablets or a window tablet. You can use a Windows as a tablet. Yeah, that's fine. You know, tablet, laptop. I mean, whatever you feel comfortable with. You know, that that's a personal preference. You know, um, but what I, uh, if you have the Windows operating system, it's still going to be a Windows product. You know what I mean? It can be a tablet. It can be a laptop. It can be a desktop. You still may have Windows on it, you know. Or you may have Android on it. If you have Android, that's that's like your phone. The Android is the operating system for your phone. Some tablets have it. Some tablets have Windows operating system. So that's the difference. But what I was saying about the registry... If you click run, um, clean the registry, look for problems. Yeah, well, that's for Apple, you know. If you get Apple, you know, then you're going to have the Apple operating system, which is proprietary to Macs, which is Apple. So, basically, on my channel, I talk about... Um, Windows, um, yeah, Linux, I have a friend that's very, you know, really likes Linux. Uh, Linux is open source, and it's free. Um, if you know Linux, great. Linux only has a very small share of the market. Um, Windows is the big, the big dog. And then Mac is, you know, second, actually. But people like their Macs, people like Windows, some people like Linux. Well, if your computer has a buzzing noise, you can you have to check it. It may be a fan. Sometimes fans make noise. It can be a power supply. You might have a wire that's right near a fan and it's hitting it. 
Fans do make weird noise. Reverend, the sound comes from a used coil with the bottom. Yeah, I mean, older computers are going to make some noise, you know what I mean? Because they're older. You have to check and see where it's coming from. But the, reg, the, the C Cleaner program I told you is a very good program. Mm -hmm. Well, it depends, you know. Yeah, I mean, it could be, but the thing is, if you're, there's, two, there's a couple of different types of fans. You can get a sleeve fan and ball bearing. The sleeve fans usually make noise. The ball bearing fans don't make that much noise. They're more quieter. But it's possible that it could be, you know, the fan making the noise. And when it's cooling, it's going to run faster. You see? Yeah, I would recommend... You're know, holding the fan with your hand, fingers, spraying it, you know, air, and clean the fans off. You know, and that may help that problem. If you don't, you might want to change the fan. It could be a, you know, problem with the bearings. It could be a problem with the sleeves. After a while, they can start making noise. You know, so you have to see where it's coming from. But I always tell people, you know, keep your fans clean. Clean dust off them. Make sure you clean the dust off your, uh, out of your CPU because that cools your processor. Make sure your heat sink has got no dust on it, your motherboard, your video card, your memory. You know, you don't want dust in your computer. You want to maintain and get, get the dust out so it runs cooler. That dust will make it run hot and you want it to run cooler. So it's a good idea to uh, to clean it, you know, clean the dust. And if it's a laptop, laptops work a little bit different. Laptops uh, shoot the air out of the laptop. So you got to go on the side of it, make sure there's no dust. Hello, Gio, welcome. Good to see you. And that will clean your fan. Well, I don't agree with that. If you turn it on and shut it off a lot, you know, you're going to be, you know, doing stuff that's not good for it. But... I don't like to leave the computer on a long time because even if it's in sleep mode, your processor's still running, your hard drive's still running, your memory's getting hot, your motherboard's going to get hot. So, oh, I'm pretty good, yeah. Personally, I tell people to shut their computer off when they're not using it. If you get back on it, you know, several hours later, you're not going to hurt anything by starting it again. It's kind of like the electric in your house, you know. You're only paying for it when it's on. But if you shut it off, you're not paying for it. You know. But the reason why you shut your computer off and you uh, come back later, you know, a few hours later... It's because why would you want your computer to be running and getting hot, you know, when you're not using it? Because these parts are still getting hot. Cool it off. Let it cool down. When you come back later, a couple hours later, you could turn it on again. And if you have a laptop... Make sure your power setting is set to high performance. Usually it's on balance, but your power preference, scroll down past balance on the bottom, put that on high performance. It will run a little bit better.
And a couple things you need to be aware of on your laptop. If you... Hello, Metro, Sonic, how's it going? Make sure your laptop's not getting very hot. But, I mean, if you use it for a long time, it's going to get hot. You may want to shut it off. Because I have customers that tell me they keep their uh, gaming system on for 12 hours a day. And I don't have 12 hours to be doing anything on the Internet, personally. Of course, your computer's going to get hot if you keep it on several hours. You know. Need to turn it off once in a while. Get a hobby, you know. But, all seriousness, if you're on a laptop, make sure it's not getting very hot. Well, actually, some of these young kids, I mean, they could play games for hours and hours. <laughs> so... And before I had a job, I mean, years ago, I remember being on the computer for maybe five, six hours at a time, you know? So. Well, you can do that, but, you know, your hard drive is still getting hot. I would say that it's a good idea to do that if you're going to go back to your computer a little while later and use it. But if it's going to be that way for hours and it's still running, you know, all your components are going to heat up. And that's not good for them. Why would you leave your car running if you're not using it? Same thing kind of with a computer, you know. Not gonna leave your car running, are you? I'm gonna shut it off. Electronics gets hot, you know. So, and remember, the two enemies of a computer is heat and liquid. Oh yeah, it stays at a low temperature. You're right. When it's on sleep mode, it stays at a low temperature, but your hard drive's still getting hot. And your RAM is getting hot. And your CPU is getting hot. It's not getting as hot as it would if you keep it running. I mean, if you were using it, but just think if you're doing that for several hours and it's still running, it really makes no sense, you know, to leave it on for several hours if you're not using it. I I can understand if you're in an office and you're going back and forth doing other things. You know. But, you know, that, that's really the exception. But you do whatever you want. I'm just telling you that. Yeah, SSD hard drive is very good. They're faster. You don't need to defrag them. They're SSD hard drives is flash memory. There's no moving parts. They're twice as fast as a regular hard drive. That's why I recommend anybody buying a new computer, make sure you get an SSD hard drive. And get as much memory as you can afford. You know, computers nowadays are coming out with faster memory. And the prices are a lot lower than they were. Mm. So, I would tell people if they're going to buy a computer, make sure you get... A computer that has a quad-core CPU, SSD hard drive, 
enough memory for gigs or higher, and a good graphics card. So, that is, uh, yeah, uh, Metro has some really nice stuff. He's got a really great channel. I've checked it out. Eventually, I'm going to get, like, a cool intro and an outro on my channel. Have my videos, you know, looking better. Metro has some really good stuff. If you want to see a good uh, channel, check out Metro. He's got a good channel. Mm -hmm. And also, when you have a laptop, make sure your power cord is not getting really hot either. Yeah, a lot of computers are coming with 16 gigs of RAM, but I can tell you, Windows does not will not support 16 gigs of RAM. You're not using all that memory. Yeah, if you if you got like a your computer plugged in, and you got lightning going on outside, it's better to unplug it because. You know, I remember a lot of people calling me, telling me my computer was plugged in and now it doesn't work. So, you know, you can, you know, you can electrocute your computer like that. Um, common sense, you know, if there's an electrical storm, you know, if there's a big storm outside, lightning and thunder, you know, just unplug it. You don't want to leave it plugged in. You don't want to have your wife, you know, you don't want to have your Ethernet and your computer <coughs> running. That's the time you shut it down, unplug it, and be safe. Oh, that's a long time, Metro. I just got it on YouTube in November. I'm brand new. And you've been on all this time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I hope my channel grows, too. I got, got 500 subs right now. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. That's a real thing, you know. Yeah, if you have a good uh, UPS, so not the battery backup. 30 more years to try. Yeah, I'm getting there, my friend. I'm getting there. That's pretty good, huh? So, share my video with all your people and try to get me some more people. Share my video with your, uh, you know, or with your friends, your family, people on your list. And maybe they'll come by and check out my channel, check out my videos. Okay, then you take care. Yeah, I've seen The Sopranos before. I'm not really big on it, but I've, I've seen a little bit of it once or twice. Oh, okay, bunny. I'm glad you did. 
I have a lot of videos and I do a lot of uh, helping people with your computers, so I'm glad you did. Desktop. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Great, I appreciate that, buddy. Thank you very much. Thank you for coming. Thank you, everybody, for coming. Okay, good night. Leave the gun, take the cannolis. Yeah, I'd rather have the cannoli and... Uh, well, my wife is really big on cannolis. She likes cannolis, and uh, I like Napoleons and things like that. I, those are kind of my favorite. I'm a peaceful person. I'm not violent or anything. I like my Italian pastries, you know. But I do like some of those mafia movies. They're pretty cool. Oh, yeah, I hear you. <laughs> good fellows, that was a good one. Yep. Mm -hmm. Casino, yeah, that's another good one, too, yeah. Well, I would still recommend using common sense. If there's a bad storm, you don't want to be on a computer. Common sense, you know? Oh, yeah, a lot of movies are based on draft story. So... And that's just common sense, you know. I mean, down here in Florida, we have storms sometimes. We haven't had one in a while. But if there's a bad storm outside, I'm not leaving my... I'm not going to be on the computer, you know what I'm saying? That's just asking, asking for trouble. Oh. Yeah, I'm the syndic I'm the syndicate. I don't know if that's a compliment or what. What I am is a computer tech and I help people with their computers. I'm not the mafia, I'm not any of that stuff. But everybody has their own opinion, right? Well, oh, I want to thank everybody for coming to my live stream. I'm going to shut it down now. And I appreciate all you guys. Thank you for coming. Thank you for your comments. Thank you for listening. I hope you got something out of it. That's the whole idea. My goal is to teach people things that I know that help them with their computers. So thanks for coming. I hope to see you guys again. And have a great night. Okay, Kyle. Thank you.